Hello, I want to go over the Buckingham Palace virtual field trip that I just put together. Um, with the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, um, I thought it would be appropriate to provide you with a resource so that you can take your students to Buckingham Palace to get a little bit of a deeper understanding of the British monarchy and the royal family. And of course, um, as we know, many of our students aren't even really aware of where Buckingham Palace is located. And so I've included in this virtual field trip some drag and drop map skills so that you can really provide that context and understanding for your students. So I just kind of want to give you a little bit of an overview of what all is included. Like all my virtual field trips, everything is set up in Google Slides with clickable links so that you can take your students, assign this very easily, and your students will be able to go through this on their own. Or, of course, you could do this whole group if you have limited devices. Also, I do want to just point out, you want to make sure that your students will have access to things like Google Earth because there are Google Earth links. There's also some YouTube links, so you want to do just double check that. So let me show you, for example. This here um, goes over the king or queen's guards. Obviously, with the passing of the queen, we've now moved to the king's guard. So depending on the reigning monarch, um, that terminology changes. And so, for example, here with Google Earth, you can take a look here. I'm just going to pan around using my mouse, but if you have students using an iPad, they would just use their finger to move around, just like you would like um, if you were looking at a photograph. And you can also zoom in, zoom out, or if you don't have a mouse, you can also use a keyboard. So I just swapped to the arrow keys to be able to move around. So there's the Google Earth example for you as you learned about the king or queen's guards. I've included questions throughout. You can change these. All of these questions are editable. So, you know, think about what might be pertinent for your classroom. But what I really want to focus on are historical thinking skills, not having students just respond to like, what did you read? But more of like, what are they finding interesting or surprising? Um, as they go through, there's another drag and drop um, map skills here, but the questions, I want to jump to that real fast. The questions in here are really asking students to pay attention to what they're observing, what details they're seeing, what is most interesting or surprising. It's making that personal connection more than just summarize what you learned, okay? So that's why those questions are framed in that manner. So here inside Buckingham Palace, there's a little drag and drop map skills. I have an answer key included. You may need to have your students zoom in on this screen so they can actually do this um, and see it up close. There are little videos. Again, make sure you have um, YouTube access. If you don't, one option is to take the link. As you can see, it's right here. So you can take this link and put it into um, SafeShare, create a new link, and just insert it. Just do it before you um, assign it to students. But let me show you. So like here I have um, a video tour. Um, let me pull this up. Okay, so this one here goes to the, the drawing room. And this is a link on the uh, Buckingham Palace, like actual official website. And so I've just linked right to it. So you can just take your students here and you can actually click on these little icons here and it will give you some additional information. So that's pretty, pretty incredible. And that's just all right there. So that's a link that you can take your students to. Now you can just take your students to this link if you want, but the, the benefit of using a virtual field trip is that you've provided your students with a little more context. Here's a historical image. They can compare, contrast this image with what they're seeing today, and they understand a little bit more of what this room is all about. What's, why is it significant? Um, here on the grand staircase, this is a video tour, but this is really interesting here. You can um, zoom this. When you push play, um, this up in this little corner here, you can move the little arrows around so you can kind of pan around and it's just going to walk you through again this is on youtube so you want to keep that in mind i'm going to get rid of this little ad here um but yeah so there, there you go so you can use that and it's going to just take you around and there's a little bit of description here but again i provided some more context for your students as they go through this tour we couldn't leave out the significance and tradition of the balcony of course and then um, ending with the Queen's Gallery. This is a gallery that is open to the public. There's a Google Earth link here. 
and then really recognizing the significance of Buckingham Palace as a place that has served as a focal point for the British people in times of rejoicing and mourning. And so just a couple little examples here. And then finally, wrapping up with what did you learn? So, um, and seeing if there's new questions that might have been raised from this trip. So that just gives you a little bit of an overview of what to expect in this virtual field trip. I have aligned everything with the Washington State history and geography standards, but if you aren't a Washington State teacher, many of those standards are gonna crosswalk over to your state standards. I've also aligned this with the National Council for the Social Studies Standards and um, the Common Core Standards. So this is very much standards aligned. I have all of those linked right in the teacher document. I've got answer keys, a grading rubric for you. Everything is really right here in one place so that you can implement this in your class during this current season in our history. All right, I'll link this in the bottom of the, um, of the video.